Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here? From what we have here, we can label this as equation one and this as equation two. And from equation one, we make y the subject, and this becomes y equals to 10 minus x. And call this equation three. And also from equation two, which is x times y equals to 10. We substitute equation 3 here, and this becomes x times y, which is 10 minus x, close bracket, equals to 10 from here. Then here, x open this bracket, and we have 10x minus x square equals to 10 on this side. Then here, we can rearrange this. That is, you have minus x square plus 10x. And taking 10 to this side, we got minus 10. Then equals to 0 here. And next step, we multiply through by minus 1. And we have times minus 1. And all we have becomes plus x square minus 10x plus 10. Then equals to 0 here. And here we have a quadratic equation. We are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 10, and c equals to 10. And applying the quadratic formula, when we have x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10 over 2 times 1. Then, yeah, this becomes x equals to minus times minus that's plus. We have 10, then plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared, that's 100, then minus 4 times 1 times 10, that's 40, then over 2 here. That is, then here we have x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 40, that's 60, over 2 here. And next step, this is the same thing as x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 4 times 15. That gives us 16, then over 2a. And this follows when we have root a times b, which can be written as root a times root b. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 times root 15 over 2. That is, this becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 here, that's 2, and we have root 15 over 2. And here, we have two common whole. Factor it out, and we have x equals to 2 into bracket 5 plus or minus root 15 over 2. At this here, two cancelled each other. We have x equals to 5 plus or minus root 15. At this here, we have two possible values of x. The first one, we have x1 equals to 5 plus root 15. And also we have x2 equals to 5 minus root 15. Then here we find the corresponding value of y that is from equation 3, which is y equals to 10 minus x. That is yeah, y1 is equals to 10 minus x1, which is 5 plus root 15. Yeah, that is this becomes y1 equals to 10. Minus open is okay. We have minus 5 minus root 15. That is y1 equals to 10 minus 5. That's 5. Then minus root 15. 
and we have the first set of solution x1 y1 and what we have becomes y1 comma y1 x1 comma y1 which is equals to 5 plus root 15 comma 5 minus root 15 and also here we get the corresponding value of y using the same relation that this y2 equals to 10 minus x2 which is 5 minus root 15 a minus open this bracket we have y2 equals to 10 minus 5 then plus root 15 at this we have y2 equals to 5 plus root 15 and the second set of solution x2 y2 also give us x2 comma y2 and this is same thing as 5 minus root 15 comma 5 plus root 15 and here when we look at this the value of x here is the value of y here and the value of y here is the same thing as the value of x here then when we check from what we have from equation 1 x 10 x plus y equals to 10 and we substitute the value of x and y we can use the first solution here and x we have 5 plus root 15 plus y which is 5 minus root 15 is it equals to 10 on this side and here root 15 minus root 15 cancel out and we have 5 plus 5 and is equals to 10 from here and of course 5 plus 5 is 10 which is equals to 10 here. we have left hand side is equals to a right hand side and therefore we conclude that this so two sets of solution now satisfy equation one then also for equation two which is x tends y equals to 10 when we substitute as well to check using any of this solution x times y equals to 10 you can still use the first two under this x we have 5 plus root 15 times y which is 5 minus root 15 is it equals to 10 on this side and here this follows when we have a plus b into brackets open brackets a minus b which is the same thing as a square minus b square now we look at this a stands as 5 so we can see this is 5 square then minus b stands as root 15 and we have root 15 square and this same thing as 5 square is equals to 10 here on this side and 5 square here of course that's 25 minus here square can square root we have 15 is it equals to 10 on this side and of course 25 minus 15 give us 10 which is equals to 10 from here we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that these two sets of solutions here satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell and share this video with a thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now